This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Welcome back. Now let's see what Kyle and Dwayne are discussing today on Plain Talk. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer with Plain Talk with the button-pushing Dwayne Taves. Here I be on my side of the board. The guy in control. It's not often the employee gets to rule the boss. So am I the boss? I'm just going to take that. Am I the boss? I'm going to take that as a moral victory. I would like to have that written down somewhere. Your fact or fiction question today, Kyle Bauer. Grapes will explode if you heat them in a microwave. Fact or fiction? Well, I think there'd be a little hole in the end where the stem came out, that there'd be plenty of place for the air to come out of them. But why would you say that if it wasn't true? I have never microwaved a grape I've microwaved several things that have exploded over the years. Um, I'll go with true. It is true. I don't think that's true. I think you said it was true. Well, the place I read it said it was true. Now, think about this. You're right. There is a stem hole that when you pull a grape off. but Maybe you didn't pull it off. Maybe you left it on the stem. Well, if you left it on the stem. Or the other thing is it heats so rapidly. It and if can't you get out. a single grape in a microwave. Unless you got a really poor microwave, I would think you would superheat that faster than it was able to, to come out of there. Respirate. Out there. I think I need to go try that in your microwave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, do you hard boil eggs? Yes. So, in you, a pot of water. And you are are you good at hard boiling eggs? Um, I probably overdo them by most people's standards, but I have. Does it have a green ring around the outside? When you get them done and break no, them open, not, is it green? Not not that far. Well, if it's not green, you're not overdoing them. Okay. But yeah. I have an aversion to raw eggs. Okay. I don't know why. I mean, it's it's just a thing. I, I can't tolerate. Okay. So you don't even like your eggs over easy? Not particularly. Okay. No. You want the yolks completely done? Yeah. Okay. Well, I am our... I am our Egg boiler in our family. Okay. Because my Egg wife... technique involves? Just a timer. A timer. It's just as simple as that. Uh, you but, bring it to a boil? Uh, you do, but um, but the thing is, I don't like to break my eggs when I'm boiling them either. And so I leave them on high, but I like to watch them because have you ever watched an egg before they come to a boil? The, 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 really? the, it's the air comes out of them. You have little oh, trails oh, of oh, bubbles, bubbles coming out from them. Right. I mean, as hard as that yolk is, I mean, I'm sorry, that shell is, it's it's, porous. It's porous. Yeah. And you see, so I like to get the water just hot enough that I can have all the eggs with those little bubblers coming out of it. At the same time. At the same time. Well, that's exactly. Uniform heat. Well, well, it's not that hard because all the water is the same temperature in the pan. Uh, true. Yeah. And so, but if you have it just a little too low, some of them are coming out, some are not. If you have it too high on it it's, and it's actually boiling, you can't, too fast, you, you can't see it. See it. Right. Yeah. So, you know, some man just has his simple pleasures, and one of mine is that. Watching the air bubbles. The, the reason the that my wife likes me to do it is all my eggs are a nice yellow yolk, right. and they don't have the green around the outside. Yeah. And the whole key is, as soon as they come to a boil, keep them warm for 20 minutes and put them cold. Cool them out. Now, how hard is that? But it appears that it's extremely hard because it appears a lot of people can't do it. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. Closed captioning brought to you by Egg Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at eggpromosource.com.